I really thoroughly enjoyed the fourth episode of Fat Actress. This is called The Coy Effect, which in itself is very fascinating. I've never heard of it before, and I will talk a little bit about that. But it definitely provides a lot of food for thought. This is directed by Keith Truesdell, of course, and stars Kirstie Alley, Brian Callan, and Rachel Harris as Kirstie, Eddie, and Kevin. And I have to say, I don't know why, but I thought Kevin was brilliant in this episode. As a character, I don't mind her up until this point, but actually I thought Rachel Harris's performance here was particularly brilliant. Um, Mayim Bialik's also in this one. She was in the previous episode. Her role isn't as prominent here, but when she was in it, I rather enjoyed it. And perhaps somewhat awkwardly now, Leah Remini's in this as herself. And she is kind of the main driving force behind this because she um, happens to refer to herself as feeling Kirsty Alley fat while Kirstie Alley is literally a few steps down from her. She hadn't realised this. This is in the episode, of course, I should clarify. And she then does everything she can to try and apologise to Kirstie because she feels bad about it. Obviously, this episode aired in 2005. In more recent years, Kirstie Alley's relationship with Leah Remini um, after Remini left Church of Scientology has been strained, awkward, uncomfortable. So definitely with hindsight, it's a little bit awkward. But at the time, I imagine that definitely wouldn't have been the case. And it also focuses on the Koi, Koi effect, with which um, Mayim introduces Kirsty to this. And Dr. Sigmund Von Oy, played by the brilliant Wallace Shawn, visits Kirsty and tells her about this. And it basically means because Koi grow to the size of the pond that they're in, Kirsty has become larger because she's living in a larger house and it's all about thinking small but also surrounding yourself with small objects, small people and you will in theory become smaller. And actually I don't know if this is true or if there's any real scientific backing to it, I might do some research into it, but it is kind of true that if you wear clothes that fit you perfectly and you've got room, you know, room to manoeuvre, you're more likely to put on weight than if you wear clothes that are quite tight, you think, well, I can't really afford to put on weight, my clothes won't fit. And then maybe psychologically you won't. I don't know. I'm just saying that maybe actually in theory, there is something there. And Kirsty does everything she can to go along with this. She thinks it's a great idea. She does start talking in a very small voice, but also kind of babyish, which is a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and she hires, I say hires, maybe she didn't pay them, but to want for a better term, little people, um, to spend time with her and dance and basically have a party. This uh, fat actress is definitely not um, for people who get offended very easily. I learned that very quickly with the first episode. And there's the, the Wendy house, which I thought was brilliant. Um, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Um, it's definitely very fascinating and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. In fact, it might be it might be my favourite episode of the four so far. I'm not entirely sure. I really like the second episode as well. But actually, the Koi effect was really fascinating. And it genuinely made me think. And it kind of provided a lot of food for thought. The performances across the board were really brilliant. And I really liked it. Aside from the weird voice that Kirsty speaks in, which is a little bit awkward. Because um, talking quietly and small, I get. But having it almost adopting a babyish slant to it. I don't know. I just thought it was a weird choice. But ultimately, I really enjoyed the Koi effect. It's a really good episode. And as I said, it might be my favourite so far. I might try and rank them once I've watched them all. And it's definitely a contender for the number one spot.